Never seen that in a bait shop. He got it. He got it. Yes. Oh, he got it. That's a better one too. Yes. Got his ass that time though. So the water in this creek is really, really clean, but with the glare on top, it's hard to see down. Check this out with the water lands. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, what's up, fish? And guess what? I'm giving one of these badass pairs of Waterland sunglasses away. It's one of you lucky MFers. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button over on YouTube or the follow button on Facebook. Drop a comment right down there below. And most importantly, share this video with one of your fishing buddies. That's it. Then check the video description on this on YouTube and on Facebook tomorrow. And I will post the name of the winner of a pair of sunglasses and get them shipped out to you before Christmas. Freaking love it. Let's do it. Morning. Good. Bait shop open today? Yeah. Beautiful. Any recommendations for any bait? No, I would use salmon eggs, basically. Cool. Or, oh, you know, crawler <coughs> on the hide. Okay. Like Sounds good. Did yeah, you need some crawlers or you got some? Uh, I don't have any crawlers. Do you want some? There's an alligator. That's awesome. Uh, crawlers are good for the trout, too. Yeah, usually I usually put an egg on and then slip a piece of crawler behind it. Okay, perfect. Oh, he's not happy. Perfect. Interesting. Never seen that in a bait shop. What's the alligator's name? It depends on if he bites you or not. Uh, <laughs> you say you call him Louie. Louie the alligator. All right. There you are. Thank you, sir. What is up, members? Welcome back to another very exciting fishing video. As you can probably tell from the start of the video at the tackle shop, today's target species is the elusive creek slash lake trout. Um, goal today is to go out and catch as many as possible, hopefully take some home uh, and cook and eat them up. Be delicious. You know, when you travel all over the country and go fishing, you see some interesting things at these backwoods tackle shops. So I had to go check it out and it did not disappoint. There was a freaking alligator in a trough. Uh, news to you guys it's 10 degrees outside we don't have alligators up here but they had a pet alligator in the tackle shop that hissed at me it was terrifying and amazing at the same time my man's at the tackle shop said you gotta get some salmon eggs so we use salmon eggs a lot on this channel we mixed it up this time though we got yellow eggs we got pink eggs we got red ish orange ish eggs um he said this stuff isn't really the best but i haven't used this type of garlic trout dough bait before. So we might try that if we go to the lake. And then some terminal tech, we've got some split shots. I was really low on these long shank hooks. We got some of those. And last but not least, he was saying to use crawler and egg, that the crawler keeps the egg on the hook. I don't know, we're gonna try them all today though. Good. Very small, shallow creek. Main thing is going to be fishing the undercut banks, which we'll talk about that in a second. Ended up only bringing one rod with me out here. I actually brought three rods a day, but I want to try the old super refined, ultra expensive Stratic Mega Best Destroyer combo. Um, long shank hook. I mean, I literally got this rod specifically for throwing ultra light baits. So I want to see how it would do with a weightless bait. Um, starting with short shank size 10 hook. And of course, let us not forget the most frustrating bait in history to throw out there. The salmon eggs. Oh, excuse me. Garlic salmon eggs. Much different. Of course, I did also bring my usual spinner assortment. So whenever I get sick of throwing these guys, we'll, we'll try some spinners. See if they work any better. And you can find these little bait shop eggs that haven't been like the ones at Walmart where they're like hard and gummy. Mike's garlic trout bait eggs. Those are the deal. Much softer. Don't stand the hook at all, but the trout like them better. Oh, you got it, you got it. Yes, there's one. It's a decent fish too. Look at those colors on him. I thought he came out and got that. God, look how pink that guy is. Look at this guy. Now, usually I'd say wet your hands before you grab the trout, like you always tell me. But we're keeping them today, so that don't really matter. First trout, rainbow trout. There are other species in here. There's browns, and I believe there are tiger trout now, little tiny tiger trout that they stock in here. But that's actually a pretty good size for here. 12, 13 inch stalker trout. Got some weird coloration on the sides, probably from 
rubbing up against the concrete in the hatchery. But super, super bright pink. Can't hate it, guys. Can't freaking hate it. He was down in this little pool right down here. Luckily, I saw him and threw down there before he saw me, or else it would have been no bueno. Throw him on the stringer. We got one. Limits five. So basically, a little creek like this, I mean, it looks like there's nothing out there. It looks like a super shallow creek, and you can see the bottom the whole way. So where are the fish? Well, they actually, they get up underneath the grass, like right here, for instance. This is a tough one to fish because there's a tree overhang, but right up against that bank where the channel swings into it, there is the perfect spot to try to catch these fish. Let's see if I can get my egg in there. I'm kind of having some trouble right now because, of course, my reel and rod can throw this little weightless bait but check this out those of you guys down south don't know this struggle we got ice on the tip no point out just got to work through that today i guess but it's about 10 to 12 degrees so part of it also makes throwing eggs terrible <laughs> constantly frozen guides Set the hook, dummy. Set the hook. And I think we stung him too much for him to bite again. God dang it. Already threw half a damn thing of eggs. Caught one fish. That's about how it goes. About to go to crawler. Egg and crawler, maybe. Like Timmy suggested. It's starting to sound better all the time. Oh, he's going after you. Oh, there's like three right there. And there goes my eggs. Oh, God. Oh, we got it. That's a better one, too. Yes. That was so sick. Oh, yes. That was sick to watch. That might not be a recent stock. That's a pretty good size fish right there. You freaking bet. Yeah, I mean, that's like a 14, 15 inch fish. Guy looks like a freaking megalodon compared to most of these. Look at that thing. I know we've been catching big ones through the ice and got a bunch of big ones last year through the ice, but... That's a big fish for this little creek. Hell yes. We got two. It's so weird. You fish all this entire creek and you got undercut banks, you got pools, a bunch of stuff that looks good. And then all of a sudden you get to one and for whatever reason, they're loaded there. I mean, they're, they're there for a reason. It's probably because somehow it's bringing the food to them better in that one little spot. But there's multiple there. I can still see their shadows in my glasses. Let's see if we can get another one to go. Chased it. He chased it. I mean, I'm really impressed with the two we got so far. Those are two good sized eaters. Another one, another one. Yes. Yes. Same spot, two in a row. Not nearly the size. This is usually the size you get right here. The little 10, 11 inch guys. Still a good eater, but not quite as impressive as the other guy. We're already three fifths of our way there, guys. This is it's good stuff. Having a freaking hell of a time with the guides icing up. I'm about to just put a longer leader on, I think, so I don't have to cast that knot through the guides, even though it is my little crazy Alberto knot. Still freaking driving me crazy. The Japanese that built this rod made the guides super small at the end, which is cool when you're trying to cast the light baits. Not so cool when it's 12 degrees outside and every 10 seconds, your guides are freezing up. Yes. Yes, called him. Another basic guy, not a big one. I'm having too much fun with this. When I get my limit, I might just keep fishing, just throw them back, because this is this is too much fun. Basic Timmy. Hi, I'm Effers. I taste decent, not quite as delicious as wild trout, but solid. That's a pretty good size little bend in the river right down there. It's deep too, so. Let's see if we can pluck another one. Feels good coming back to the little creeks. Man, I've been freaking all over the place lately. Fishing all different types of stuff, which is the way we keep it on this channel. And it ain't gonna change. Oh. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. That might be one of those, no, that's just a little juvenile rainbow, I think. Look at that little dude. Tiny, just a baby guy. They're so pretty when they're that size. The little ones can actually 
get the eggs too. Unlike a spinner. <laughs> I actually saw a big one dart out right before that, so I got excited. Lift it up and that guy was on. Going with the long shank hook, which works better than anything with these eggs, even though I am getting robbed and casting them off constantly. But you can put more on the hook, small, light wire, super sharp. Good for these trout with these their little soft mouths I found. Seems to be better to have a longer, lighter wire spread out. Uh, less short and stout hook than to have like a little eagle claw bait holder hook or something like that, even though the little barbs on there kind of hold the eggs. This bend down here holds it really nice as well. So that's why I choose this little long shank guy. I'm glad the tackle shop had them. They actually have a pretty good supply of stuff. Out here in COVID world, everything's sold out everywhere. And just missed another one. It's weird, they're holding the pools. Ah, loaded right there. Got his ass that time. Got his ass that time. Hey, bud. You bet. Guys, if there's one thing I've learned from today, it is uh, my pocket is so coated in garlic salmon egg juice. I might have to throw this coat away. I mean, this is a fishing coat. It's supposed to smell fishy, but my God, it smells no bueno. Got his ass that time, though. Got his ass that time, though. Come here, bud. Okay, I got loud on that one. That was exciting. That thing swerved me so many damn times. And that is Timmy the Limit Maker right there. And he's a big one. Big and beautiful. <laughs> you bet. Look at the colors on that one. He got spots all the way down towards his belly. That is crazy. Well, I think it's safe to say everything I own smells like garlic. Trout fishing, right? At least we got our limit out of it. And now we're going to take them home, cook them up for Miss Melican Fishing, and a little Osborne. Catch you guys there. You need some fish? Dancing for fish. Mm. Getting the bones out, Mom? What do you think? Try some trout? There you go. Here. Trout on, trout on, trout. Good? Nice. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We're going opposite on hair. Max's is getting shorter, mine's getting longer. Trout turned out to be absolutely freaking awesome. Everyone in the family loved it, including Ozzy. He was uh, he was a big fan. Uh, we wanted a dinner in privacy, so I didn't shove the camera in everyone's face while they're eating. But you guys get the gist. Freaking pan seer trout can't go wrong with it. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. I always enjoy doing the small, tiny creek stuff. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you want to see more creek trout fishing videos. And of course, do not forget, I'm giving away a pair of Waterland sunglasses to one of you lucky M. Efforts, three very simple steps again. All you got to do is subscribe if you're on, on YouTube or follow if you're on Facebook. Comment down below and then, of course, share, 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 share this video with as many people uh, that you think like fishing as possible. And I uh, will pick a winner. Probably going to pick it tonight. So check back tomorrow on this video and uh, I'll catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace.